All right, there's been a lot of talk online about how to correctly plug in external accessories into your Komodo, for instance, your, your monitor into Komodo without blowing that SDI port. I've been very unsure about it. I've read so many different things. So in this video, I'm gonna just show you the way that I do it with my setup. Uh, if you've got something similar, hopefully this is gonna work for you and give you a little bit of confidence that you'll be fine. All right, so I just wanna say that this has worked for me so far and I don't know if I'm doing it correctly or not. From what I understood online, I think this is the right way to do it. Um, and I haven't had any problems with it so far, so I just thought I'd share it with you guys if you're still a little bit unsure and if you've got a similar setup. So I've got the Core SWX plate and that's just basically powering the camera. I've got um, just battery power for my monitor, so it's not actually being powered off the V-mount. I've got my SDI cable plugged into my monitor, as you can see there but it's actually not plugged into my camera yet and there's no power going to the camera at all. So I'm gonna grab my V-mount battery, I'm gonna put that on first and you should see the little green light lighting up there. And so that means that we've got power going to the camera. Now I haven't flicked the on switch yet, but what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna grab my batteries. So my little Sony batteries for my monitor, I'm gonna put them on. And now I'm going to put power to my monitor. So I'm going to turn it on. Now let me know if, if I'm doing this wrong because I don't want to be blowing up anything. I don't want to blow up my monitor and I don't want to blow up my, my Komodo either. So let me know if you guys think this is the wrong way to do it. Okay, so now that there's power to the monitor, as you can see there, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in my SDR cable into the Komodo. So I've always got mine plugged into the, into the monitor. So all I've got to really do is just take it out from the Komodo. Put that in. All right, I think that's in. Now all I need to do is flick the switch on the Komodo. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm going to flick it around to you. You can see that. All right, so just wait for that to initialize. Now, touch wood, nothing's happened to it. It's been fine ever since I've had it and I've done it this way. So I think I'm doing it correctly. Let me know down in the comments if I have been doing it wrong. Okay, so now we've got power there. We've got signal going through. Let's lift this up, make sure. Yep, and as you can see, that's all working. It's all fine. And then to power it off, it's the same way. It's the same process. So all you've got to do here is power down the camera. So I'm gonna power down the camera now. Turn it around so you can see that. Okay, so I've still got power going to my monitor. I haven't unplugged any cables. I'm gonna turn off the camera first. So I'm gonna wait for that to finish shutting down. All right, so now the camera's turned off. You should be able to see that there's a green light again on the Core WS X plate. Now, I'm not gonna unplug the V-mount yet. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unplug the SDI cable. So it's just doing basically the same thing that I did at the start but just doing it around the opposite way. Okay, so I'm plugging the SDI cable and now I'm gonna turn off my monitor and I'm gonna unplug my battery. Now, I know this is a bit of a shorter one, but I just wanted to give you guys an idea. Any of you that have the Komodo and you're unsure about the correct way to turn it on and there's so many different setups that people have got that it made me not sure if I was doing it the right way or not, but I thought if anyone's got the same setup as me, so the Core SWX plate that's just powering the Komodo and you're powering your external accessories with um, different batteries, so not another V-mount, then hopefully this is gonna make more sense to you. And so far everything's been fine. So hopefully you've got some value out of this. Hopefully it's helped you feel a little bit more confident about uh, turning on your, your Komodo now without blowing the port. Um, let me know in the comments if this has helped you. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.